scared, Dino. Does this face look like he's ever been scared? There ain't a man in this world that'll scare Dr. Death. What a question to ask me, Dino. Steve Williams' excursion into the sports spotlight began when he arrived at the University of Oklahoma with an athletic scholarship. He came to Norman to play football and to wrestle for the perennial national powerhouse. By the time he left Soonerland for the United States Football League, he had laid claim to four All-America honors for collegiate wrestling. Within a year, he abandoned football forever and became one of Universal Wrestling Federation's bad guys. Well, it's rough being um, hated by everybody in the world. Very tough. Uh, because I do hate you. I've had my van sideswiped and torn up. I've had uh, cans of chewing tobacco thrown on me. I've had everything happen to me. You gotta go through me if you want this medal. You didn't win the medal. I won the match for the medal. I was man enough to grab that medal. You weren't no man. You grabbed it off the table. You didn't take it off anybody. Hey, pal, I told you. If you want this medal, you're gonna have to go through me and that goes for anybody else. Oh, wait just a minute. started to change for the UWF's Dr. Death when he began lifting weights with unprecedented intensity and pushed himself to new heights of physical fitness. Along with his new physique, Steve started to enjoy more popularity. The tragedy struck when his father died. You know, my brothers taught me a lot, but my father taught me how to be a man, how to be a gentleman, and how to get the job done. And it's been a dramatic thing for my whole family, and uh, can't accept death. Death is the hardest thing to accept, and uh, it's been hard for our whole family, but uh, we're Williamses, and Williamses are champions, and they stick together, so, you know, I think that it's all coming out for the best. At about the same time, Steve had the opportunity to pull a man from a flaming car, and the fans started to see him in a completely new light. projects you. That's how they accept you. I'm saying they project you of being a good guy or a bad guy. They look at me and think I'm a good guy and look at my name, Dr. Death. It's kind of hard to accept me being a good guy, but it's not the way you look and it's not the image, it's how you get the job done. And I think all these people know when I get in the ring, I'm not out there to play a game. I'm not out there to fool around. I get my job done. I make sure I get it done well. I'll tell you, it's a lot better feeling to be shared than booed. Kind of gives you little goosebumps, you know? Here stands up and everything, because that kind of gets me fired up and kind of gets me going, too, when these people are just going nuts. And I make them their night as well as they're making mine. The bad boy is now on his way to the top of the Universal Wrestling Federation, and the fans love it. But the good doctor is realistic about his future and professional wrestling. About five to ten more years is all I'm going to be in this ring. Your body can't take getting beat up every night. What I want to do is become a family man. I'd like to have a little Dr. Death running around and running into the walls and stuff like I was when I was a little kid. And 20 years from now, professional wrestling's out of my mind. I'm not going to be an old-timer in this business. I'm not going to fool nobody. <laughs>